Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my in-depth look at the new operating system called Windows 8. Now, first when you come and see this, you're like, uh, what the heck, it just, it just looks like Windows 7 with like, no start button. And you're right, it is Windows 7 with no start button. And then you're asking me, oh my gosh, you have Internet Explorer on. Well, let's see the two comparison. Internet Explorer is actually faster than the latest version of Google Chrome. Now, this is the Sun Spider test, which clocked in at one, uh, 180 milliseconds, and this is 220 milliseconds. So, yeah, Internet Explorer is faster. Now, let's check Speed Battle, and you will see the Internet Explorer is about 100 scores better than Google Chrome. Now, enough of this stupid web browser battle stuff, but let's go to the OS. Now, it's a bit laggy because I have Camstage on. This thing is really bad. I mean, Camp Studio, but uh, eh, I don't have time to download Sony Vegas right now, so I just downloaded Dish because it's fast. And the first thing you'll notice, you put your mouse up on the side, you notice that there's a few buttons. Now, the main button you want to go to is Start. Now here is what makes things interesting. Now this is the apps you can download from the App Store. This is just a generic um, apps you can download from online. Now the funny thing is, is there are two Internet Explorers. Now this one is only 381, so don't use this because it's a mobile version of Internet Explorer upgraded for the web. So basically what they did is made an Internet Explorer for the tablets and they changed it around for the computers. So basically it's a downgraded version of desktop so it's it's not really useful. But um it's here if you wanna use it, I guess. It's it's alright. But uh yeah. So that's Internet Explorer and this is this Internet Explorer, so that is the mobile one. Now here is a store. You can it's like the app store, you can download everything. Um there's Netflix, it's pretty good. You know, there's Skype and everything. One thing I like to add is that the, the apps downloaded from the app store are optimized for the mobile display version, the mobile menu for it, so it launches absolutely f quickly and uh, it's just more fluid than the Skype you would download from the internet. So it's it's a different version than the normal Skype, but uh, it's a lot better in my opinion. And uh, there's games also which you can download and buy. It's like the Android um, App Store, except it's for Microsoft. Updates 15. <gasps> That's a lot of updates. But here on the side, you can see all the tabs that are open. I should close, close, close. I don't know how to close them all, by the way. But um. Yeah. yeah, yeah. so it's kind of different than this because you can't close the apps on the side for this. So that's only for the mobile version. So Windows 8 is a bit confusing at first because you got this desktop version and a mobile version. So this you clearly can see it's made from tablets because you have nothing here. You can close this. The only way you can press Alt-Tab, you can see all your programs open. And uh, that's basically it. So, so this is very, very fluid. Now you can go to your games. You can see that and stuff. You can check your camera, which is like a webcam. I don't have a webcam right now, so you can see your videos, like Netflix or your home videos or stuff like that. Like, oh, Madagascar 3. That was a pretty good movie, actually. Go to your music. I don't have any music right now because I had to format my drive. Um, so that is basically it of this. You can sign out and stuff. Um, the maps. I never actually saw this. But, uh. Allow. Well, that's pretty cool. It's just like. It's Google Maps, but not as good. <laughs> so. What do I think of Windows 8? In my opinion, it is fantastic. The mail application is, is superb. Like. 
right now it's just probably be the best um, s mail application I've ever seen. Well, it's, it's sort of like you know a mobile web application, yeah, a mobile web application, but for Windows. So it's really cool. Um, this is the best and most fluid operating system I have ever used on a computer. The Mac can't even stand up to this. I don't know where they got the idea, oh, Windows copied Mac for this, but this is completely just insane on how good it is. I guess you can use this. Um, it's pretty fast. You know, you can go on YouTube. But I wouldn't recommend, uh, I wouldn't recommend this as um, you got your desktop and everything. And I don't know what this app is. Is it like traveling? But yeah, besides this menu, there's not really anything much else I could say. It's basically like a mobile OS put on to Windows 7. Now, it's, it's you either love this, you either hate this, but it's really snappy, it's really fast, and uh, there's just nothing out there like this. Um, the apps open instantly. Like, look at that. It's instant, like two seconds, not even two seconds. In even in the fresh install of a Windows 7 or XP or Vista, it at least takes three seconds for Google Chrome to open up, at least in my experience. And it takes me like four seconds for a browser to open up on my phone, and it's supposed to be optimized. So this is basically the fastest operating system you will ever use right now. So it's just fantastic. All right. So, how does gaming perform on Windows 8? Now, people have done some tests comparing Windows 8 and Windows 7. However, I don't have dual boot right now, and I don't have the time to record all the games and, and just all the facts and everything, so um, I'll have to rely on other people's sources. But the sources say usually on average, it's about 2 to 3 frames higher than the gaming performance in Windows 7. However, on there's a few occasions where it dipped down to 8 FPS less than Windows 7, but that's only because those games are not optimized for Windows 8 and their coding is different. So, But uh, basically they're technically the same, but uh, Windows 7 is obviously slower than Windows 8 since it's more optimized. Um, what else? Yeah, so that's basically it. Thank you for watching this in-depth look of Windows 8. Now you can connect devices and second screens and stuff like that. Um, the Messenger is pretty good also. Like, like I would mention, the Messenger, you know, you can talk to people, connect to Facebook. It's all pretty cool. So, it's, yeah, it's nothing really I could say other than that. It's a mobile OS on Windows 7. So thank you for watching this video. Um, uh, it's very cheap to buy this right now, upgrading from Windows 7. It's only like 39 bucks, 40 bucks, and uh, you, should, you should get it. Um, it's a very good upgrade from Windows 7. It's a lot faster. There's a lot more apps, and uh, it's just overall a very unique experience that I thought would fail completely, but is actually better than I could ever have imagined. So thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you guys soon.